All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy guys for the win, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. And as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you guys a cool little glitch slash strategy that you can use in order to get diamond launchers really, really fast in zombies so that you can get closer and closer uh, to obtaining the Dark Ether camo. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, please do me a huge favor and drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that out of the way, let's just get straight into the video. So as you guys can see by the gameplay, what you're going to want to do, um, first of all, is you're going to want to get the two perks at least of Quick Revive and Jug. Um, you need to have, for this to be most effective, you need to have Jug on Tier 3, and you need to have Quick Revive at least on Tier 2. And then what you're going to want to do is whatever... Uh, you know, rocket launcher um, that you want to level up and get camos for, whether it be the RPG, the Sigma. Um, this even works for the M79 as well if you need to get camos for it. Um, you know, load in with, you know, that weapon in the loadout. And you're going to want to come to the tunnel that leads down into uh, the particle accelerator. And if you stand right here on this wall and you are crouching and you walk up directly straight to this wall, and you feel like a little pocket that you move into what will happen is that the zombies uh, will start piling up behind you and if you shoot at the wall with the RPG you will notice that the hordes of zombies that pile up behind you will all get taken out in one RPG shot if you guys have seen the um, unlimited C4 glitch this is the exact same spot that was used for that um, but this is a very very effective way of getting camos done really fast like I said for the RPG for the Sigma um, even for the M79 anything that's a launcher you can get camos done for really really fast now I will say also um, the ability that you're probably gonna want to use is ether shroud because um, for when the megatons spawn in for their rounds you can pop your ether shroud and take out the zon or take out the megatons excuse me uh, extremely quick I would recommend either having your secondary weapon be like the electric upgraded um, die shockwave or um, having the ray gun as your second weapon to be able to take them out fast in um, the ether shroud as well but as you guys are seeing here like I'm I'm completing camos I'm leveling up the RPG I'm taking out hordes of zombies um, obviously you need the the upgraded quick revive um, to at least tier 2 so that when you do take damage from your own RPG shot that uh, you don't end up um, dying from it if you do get like a uh, rare like hit from uh, one of the zombies if you get damage taken from them but as you guys can see like once you like you have to make sure you have the spot correct it'll probably take some experimenting because for me I definitely was not able to get it to work uh, right away but you guys will see how effective it is you just take one shot with a horde of zombies that you see piled up behind you on your mini map and then it'll clear out the entire horde you let your health go back up from quick revive because you will take damage from your RPG shot and then you just continue to let off shots as hordes of zombies pile up behind you now I will also recommend that uh, you end up using speed cola as well I don't know if I've already mentioned that but obviously you know being able to reload the RPGs faster will be better as well but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said before, if you did, uh, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys later.